He who sows thorns should not expect to gather roses. The tongue is like a lion. If you let it loose, it will wound someone. The candle of knowledge is lighted by the flame of truth. He who knows not his own worth will die in ignorance. The fountain of wisdom is a bubbling stream, not a stagnant pool. He who learns a new thing every day will become wise in time. He who has health has hope, and he who has hope has everything. When the belly is empty, the body becomes spirit, and when it is full, the spirit becomes body. The greedy man is not content with a whole world set before him. The garden of love is green without limit and yields many fruits other than sorrow or joy. Love is beyond either condition, without spring, without autumn, it is always fresh. If you have no sympathy for human pain, the name of human you cannot retain. A traveler without observation is a bird without wings. The true morning does not dawn until you have found your purpose in life. The wound of words is worse than the wound of swords. If you wish the mercy of God, show mercy to his creatures. The tree of silence bears the fruit of peace. He who speaks ill of others only reveals his own faults. The fragrance of flowers spreads only in the direction of the wind, but the goodness of a person spreads in all directions. He who is contented with little possesses much. He who does not thank people does not thank God. The rose and the thorn and sorrow and gladness are linked together. The value of a man depends upon his courage. His veracity depends upon his self-respect and his chastity depends upon his sense of honor. Have patience. All things are difficult before they become easy. A little and a little, collected together, becomes a great deal. The heap in the barn consists of single grains, and drop and drop make the inundation. He who is a slave to his stomach seldom worships God. The best loved by God are those that are rich, yet have the humility of the poor, and those that are poor and have the magnanimity of the rich. An enemy to whom you show kindness becomes your friend, accepting lust, the indulgence of which increases its enmity.
The remedy against want is to moderate your desires. Whatever makes an impression on the heart seems lovely in the eye. A man is insensible to the relish of prosperity until he has tasted adversity.